to raise productivity. Right. <coughs> you have moved. Hello, hello and welcome. Um, so <coughs> my favourite subject, you may have heard me talking about productivity uh, here and there. Just me, the, bank of, the governor of the Bank of England and just about everybody else knows what they're talking about. Um, and it's absolutely crucial. It's absolutely crucial. And I want to explain a bit about why and how. So the next slide is especially for Kate um, because I thought it was important to show a model. So the joke here is it's very important to explain very carefully what you want when you outsource something. Um, <laughs> so I'm also quite keen to see how I'm going to get this expenditure on this picture past the account. Never do anything twice without improving it. Because why would you? If you've got to do it twice, the chances are you're going to do it three, four, five, you're going to keep doing it. So put a little bit of effort into thinking how you can improve it. I do a, a, a weekly timesheet with my list of stuff on there that I've got to do day by day. Oh, okay. right. um, and it's not only got a forecast time, it's got an actual time next to it. So I get to improve my forecasts as I go along because I've done it and tried it. And I think that's quite important because every, some, some time management people will tell you that you should keep a record of what you do every day and break it down into what those things are so you can look at how you spend your time. But I think that's a good way to spend four hours a day. <laughs> I don't. Whereas just doing something like recording how long you're taking to do your tasks gives you that feedback over a week, so I think that's quite important. All tasks are not equal, so your circadian rhythm. Some of us are night people, some of us are morning people, and John's obviously a night person, um, and that's very important. So you should try to match the work that you're doing with your own energy cycle. And this one's for you, James. Switch off your phone alerts, <laughs> because if your attention is lost, you're not working. You're not working, you're just wasting your time. There's a very interesting book I just read that talks about Facebook, and Facebook's great ability at attention engineering. Facebook gets paid by your attention. So while you're on Facebook, they're getting money for your time. So they put a lot of effort into how they get your time. The like button, making it social. If you don't go on there enough, they start cutting you out from various things. Have you noticed that?